So the first thing we're going to start off is with uh, some basic concepts. You can put your seat down so it's going to be an empty hand drill. But that empty hand drill is going to be applied to the stick and then we're going to apply it to the spot of balance. So one of the first things to do is just going to throw a single punch. I'm going to evade and I'm going to strike. That's called a zero beat. Zero beat is totally evade. Okay, so I'm here. Boom. Okay. The reason I'm going to zero beat and I'm striking in that way is because I'm worried about the secondary strike. This is my primary strike. I move outside, just like Brian was saying, we're moving outside, but zero beat is totally vacant. So your partner's going to throw one, you're going to throw zero beat. The next one is a one beat. One beat is my parry because of my strike. Because again, like Brian said, I'm going to move outside a little bit. I want to do this, but at the same time, I'm going to take a portion of the triangle. This is the triangle. And I'm going to come in from that angle, so it looks like this. Okay? So when he's coming here and I'm driving you, just like that. Got it? It was here. Okay? And I'm holding back a little bit because of the top of the head off. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to first throw is I'm going to throw down. He's coming here. I'm moving off angle. I'm taking that down. That's taking that step. What angle? What is this for my empty hand? If I parry and strike at the same time, what would that call? What, what beat is that? One. One. Someone said, yeah, so one beat. So I'm taking that, I'm taking him out as a one beat. One. Okay? One beat. And I'm moving to the outside. We call this the master circle. Over here. Taking his eye out. I'm just going to do that. We're going to add now just a check. And then overhead. Okay? So it's going to look like this. And I'm going to come over here. Take him out. Okay? One more time. It's going to look like this. He comes, and he's giving me the too. Same thing. Okay, I'm doing the same thing. I'm taking out angle one and angle two. It's the same movement. Right now, we're just going to stick with them. One, check, take out the tank. Two comes, two, check, and take out the tank. Understood? So let's just do that for the one and two. Same movement. And so when I'm here, I'm just dropping my stick, checking. Loading. See how it's spring like a spring. I'm compressing the spring to take out that head. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do we have all these weapons to bear. Unko, manual, my fist, um, unio, this fist. We call this first defense, second defense, third defense, fourth defense, fifth defense, sixth defense, seventh defense, eighth defense, ninth defense, ten behind the foot. And so what I now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my first defense. He wants to play. He said, I want to do more than just check, brother. I want to do something else. Okay, so when he's coming here, boom. Okay. The reason I'm striking is I want him to be uncomfortable. Okay, so when he comes here, I'm going, boom. Take him out. I'm using my first defense strike to make him uncomfortable so we can eliminate his secondary strike. Most strikes come in threes. Boom, boom. So I want to eliminate that one more time. It's like this. <laughs> Taking them out, throwing that punch. And you notice every time I'm doing this, I'm always coming back to its center. On the rare chance, if I do this, boom, boom, touch because of the number two, I'm, gonna, I'm protected. And then I can come back with something. Okay, so all your movements, as you're doing your movements, bring this down to the pocket. Okay, like a train. You know how those the train wheels move? I want to be here. Okay, so one more time. Go here. Hmm. Just like that. Got it? You don't need to throw those two. What I want to see if you guys do is just go here. Hit, check, boom, punch, strike. That's all good. Touch down, hit that. And then I'm coming back. Move that, move Miss my purpose. I'm going for his head on that. We call same entry, but I'm going to use the number eight push to destroy his base. And it looks like this. Okay? Zero beat, total evasion that punch. The second is a one beat. Here, here. 
Okay, it can be a strike, punch, eye gouge. Okay, the next one is what? Two beats. So he's going here, punches, boom. Just doing that, parrying strike. Three beats. Here, one, two, three. See that? You guys see that? Want me to slow it down? Okay, one more time. Go slow, boom. Zero. Boom. One. Two. Three. Whatever you come with after the parry and grab, you can come here, you can come with elbow, you can come with headbutt. Okay? The third is called a three beat because I'm striking on the third beat of it. I'm going to take this out. He's going to stab me with that. What's that beat right here? I'm parrying and striking. What is that? Two. Two beat. Okay? Yes, so. So I come here. Boom, he comes. Boom. Taking him out. Got it? And then I, I like to just follow up with another angle. But I'm not going to stay there. The way it works is I come here, boom, pop, here. I start angling here. We call this the master circle. Because with the master circle, we talk about movement. When he comes, boom. Okay? This is it. He comes with a two, boom. Remember that movement we just did earlier? Okay. But from here, we're going to work a spot of lava from here. Same technique from here, boom. Like that. Where I'm at. Okay? And I come out. Finish him off there. Hit! Hit! Careful with that thrust. Okay? 